Guitar Rig 3 supports all major plug-in formats, so it will integrate seamlessly into your favorite DAW like Logic, Pro Tools, or Cubase. In this tutorial, we will see how to record a guitar and a bass track in Cubase 4 LE using Guitar Rig. We've already prepared a drum loop to jam with, so let's start by clicking on the empty track below to record the guitar. Make sure its record button is activated and check if it is getting a signal when you play. Cubase will only record the bare signal of your guitar, and Guitar Rig will take care of the processing. We only need to open it as an insert for your selected track. To do this, click on the Insert section on the left of the sequencer window. Click on the small arrow in one of the slots and select the Guitar Rig plugin. When the Guitar Rig window pops up, Make your settings for this particular track. Once you're finished, you can close the program window, click on Record and start playing the sound you created. You can use multiple instances of Guitar Rig in your recording project, so we'll add the bass track the same way. Of course, the sound you choose in Guitar Rig this time should be a bass sound. Whatever you do in this program window won't affect the guitar track, since each instance of the Guitar Rig plugin is independent. Set Cubase to Record onto the new track, click on Record, and play your bass part. One of the coolest things about recording this way is being able to change the sound of your tracks after recording them, a technique called reamping. Click on the small E above your insert slot to call up the guitar rig window again. Tweak the preset, go back to Cubase, and listen to your track with the reamped guitar. You can even switch to another guitar rig preset directly from Cubase by clicking on the preset's name in the insert slot. <laughs> 